this actually came in the NEAT 2022 you can see these blackish areas this is the sclero malaysia perforance sclero malaysia perforans is there and sometimes it mimics with the ciliary it mimics with the ciliary staphyloma with the ciliary staphyloma but actually this is not ciliary staphyloma okay because uh, usually they will give you a history that this is found in the elderly female along with the rheumatoid arthritis plus you can see more than one area you can see this blackish areas also so if you are able to see the black areas more than one area is there because ciliary staphyloma will only be in the ciliary region and plus you are having this elderly female with the rheumatoid arthritis then you know that it is a case of sclero malaysia perforance so this is a kind of scleritis if you look at um, the classification when i talk about the scleritis it can be anterior scleritis or the posterior scleritis anterior is present in 98% posterior only in 2% and posterior scleritis gives a typical t sign on the b scan ultra sound we are going to get now this anterior scleritis can be of two types it can be non necrotizing or it can be the necrotizing non necrotizing can be nodular or it can be diffuse okay so it is this diffuse one which is most common so i can say that it is diffuse non necrotizing anterior scleritis which is most common while if i talk about this necrotizing this can be with inflammation or it can be without inflammation it can be without inflammation also so if it is without inflammation and uh, it is present in the elderly female with the rheumatoid arthritis then it is called as the sclero malacia sclero malacia perforans then this is called as sclero malacia perforans the typical aspect which was given in the question okay